Okay guys, welcome to the second edition of Team Hellion Show, where we give you your daily news on comics, wrestling, MMA, and related topics. Um, honestly not a lot today. Uh, let's see. MMA isn't building up for anything big right now. Um, WWE just had Raw last night and is taping the rest of the shows tonight. So nothing big right there. And comics, everyone's getting ready for Comic Con. So it's going to be, you know, not a lot will be revealed until Thursday, Friday, Saturday, somewhere around there. But hopefully I'll have a bunch of news for you then. So, let's get into it. Alright, uh, former UFC fighter Kimo Leopoldo might be dead. We don't know yet. Uh, Yahoo, Wikipedia, TMZ of all places are reporting he's dead. Uh, Twitter and people that know him, because you can't prove anything, who knows, maybe they do, maybe they're his next door neighbor, maybe just some schmuck, but, um... There are reports on Twitter from people that know he's alive. I just talked to his lawyer, his friend, his neighbor, his garbage man, his whatever. So we don't know. So uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll know if the guy's alive or dead. All right, big news in wrestling right now is the Karen Angle, Kurt Angle, Jeff Jarrett, Love Triangle. So it is official. Everything's come out. Jeff Jarrett is living, or Karen Angle is living with Jeff Jarrett. Someone's living with someone. They're hooking up. Uh, Jeff Jarrett went through the terrible death of his wife due to cancer a couple years ago. Karen Angle split from Kurt Angle. Apparently they found each other. It's been going on for a while. Kurt knew they agreed to work together. But now there's a custody battle of the Angles ch for the Angles' children. And Jarrett has said to remove himself from the situation. Not be on TV. Not hang out with Kurt. Just to remove himself. Because it's tough. You're the new boyfriend and you're the guy's boss. It is a very tough situation. I think they're just trying to handle it as best they can. Best of luck. That's really crazy. Uh, we always call wrestling a male soap opera, and this it doesn't get more soap opera than this. So, hope everything works out. There's still rumors Angle's going to go WWE. Who knows? And the current feeling right now is that Angle will not join the creative team. This will all blow over. Everyone's being very polite and amicable, just, you know, for the kids and for the greater good of the company as well. Hopefully. Uh... Little quick thing that was online, Punisher issue number eight is against Dark Wolverine, and Punisher's life will change forever. I don't know, we've heard it before, um, he got his face uh, all carved up, he turned black, he died, he came back as a renegade angel demon hunter thing, so who knows what's going to happen, but supposedly something big. Uh, there's now a Lobo movie in pre-production in Hollywood. We want it to be PG-13, so it can still be kind of harsh, but get all the kitties in there, because don't, don't the kids just love Lobo? And the seven Bisley penis drawn on there. Uh, they want effects like the effects that are seen in the new James Cameron movie Avatar, which no one's seen footage of yet, from what I understand. So hopefully footage of that at Comic-Con as well, because... All we've heard about is this movie for years and years and years, and we've seen nothing, and then honestly, the video game footage didn't impress me at all. So hopefully there's something cool going on here. But who knows? Uh, Lockjaw and the Pet Avengers hardcover will be released October 21st of this year. Awesome series. So much fun. Pick it up. Wait for trade. Whatever. And finally, a little comic thing. If you have not bought Black is Night number one, you need to buy it now. Uh... Forget Civil War, forget Secret Invasion, forget Dark Reign. DC has now upped the game. It looks phenomenal. Um, there, there's so much in the issue already, it's going to be fantastic. Already, issue one, spoiler alert. Don't listen if you don't want to know. Hawkman and Hawkgirl are killed off dramatically. And it also makes them more interesting for when they're inevitably brought back. Um, the power levels of... The Black Lanterns rise 0.01% for each death. So do the math, think of how many people, animals, things, whatever, they have to kill to get to 100%. This is going to be nuts. Also, oh, sorry, uh, Hale Jordan as Green Lantern projected an image with the ring of all of the heroes and friends that have died since Barry Allen died as well. Like, who, who's died in the, the two decades, pretty much, I've been dead? in real time and there were a lot and finally the most dramatic piece was Ralph Dibney and Sue Dibney elongated man and wife as Black Lanterns and wow like characters you love that were so innocent even though 
terrible things happening to them, they were heroes, um, are just, wow. It, it's going to be good. It's going to turn everything up on its ear. And we're only just beginning. First issue of 8, pick up the comic book store. I'll see you tomorrow.